Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know. But we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it. The Lubyanka building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Hello, Belikov on the Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. I'm sorry. You'll just have to come back tomorrow. Mm, I see. Did the general come through here? It's he as far as to see this place. Have you ever been to Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. <laughs> Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this mool. How is that gone? <laughs> yes. And once we are finished with this mole, 
He will be as blind and buried as his namesake. <laughs> Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. <clears throat> we also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, you Belikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? <coughs> Sound thinking, Comrade Belikov. I would prefer it if only General Charkov retains his bunker key. So you will see to it. Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. <laughs> the traitor will be caught. And he will pay a high price for his betrayal. Belikov, you are dismissed. I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted so, here, I'll be my for cover. Now I need to hide the body. I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one. Give it a rest. What about metallists? There is Cherkov.
What can I do for you, Comrade Belikov? The General will be questioning a prisoner today, but should be available most of the time. Just let me know when you're ready to meet with him. I have a chance to kill Cherkov. Kravchenko's office will have the poison I need. Berikov, <coughs> have you dug up my mole yet? No matter. We've discovered additional unauthorized communications. Within hours, we will know the exact computer they came from. <laughs> Comrade. Fuck. I will be exposed soon. In the server room, I could point evidence towards Cherkov. Berikov, have you dug up my mole yet? Comrade.
Milikov, have you dug up my mole yet? Cherkov, that's absurd. Where is your evidence? Uh, I have no idea how this got past me. Cherkov will be passing through here soon. When he does, we will apprehend him. General Chalkov, just how long have you been spitting on Mother Russia? Excuse me? Do you know who you're speaking to? I do now. Your medals will no longer protect you. Please empty your pockets on the counter. Colonel, have you lost your mind? Now step over there and lift your arms to the side. You're serious? Fucking do it. Is this your way of setting up my fall, Kashenko? Hmm? I'm looking forward to hearing the response of the Central Committee. Me too. Now go in that room without saying another fucking word. Anything else you need to tell me, you can do it in there. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler's team in. How can I help you, sir? Ludden. Yelikov here, send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately! Wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevator access to the bunker. 
What about uniforms? Shh. Sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. Uniforms are no... This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh, sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. Uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел не запертую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Okay, I have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting the commander sober. Get changed. Here, our weapons and key card are in the back. Come on, this way. Once we're in the bunker, we're on our own. Morsha pushed us. Let's go. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. And where are you going? Досмотр обязателен для всех, без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Варь, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем я нем кобиности. Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. После Вичи, Белико. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Когда вы прибыли? Ах да, разумеется. 
Tovash commandeer. Jan Yaraslishl. Обязательно передам ему привет от вас. Прежде чем Кравченко успел с... А ну-ка, оружие на землю! Good. Let's get to the vault. We're almost to the vault. There's the list bell. Copy it to a disc.
lines now. We're cutting through. We're almost through the door. Get ready. Here they come. Locking the place down. Follow me. This way. Surrender. You will not get away. Time for plan B, Bell. Activate the gas. Drop your weapons and surrender or he dies. When we move, get a mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. <laughs> Up top. They are on full map, melting the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. There are heavy weapons. We need to arm ourselves before reinforcements arrive. The gear is this way. I need cover! Yeah. 
Southwest courtyard for five minutes. Velikov is hitching a ride. Plenty of room in the backseat. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, Bell. Let's go, Bell. for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee on that. Two available. Ready you ready? Let's talk. You look ready. Yeah. Check this out. Damn. That's legit. Mm. Decked out with all my specifications? Mm-hmm. 
Won't find half baked rigs here. Mm -hmm. Feels nice. I think I'm ready to ruin someone's day. <laughs> How about we grab a bite to eat on the way out, eh? Get properly fueled up. Food before a fight? Nah. If I'm going on the attack, I need to be hungry. Like a predator. Of course it's Cuba. Hold on. Make it quick. I'm busy. Indeed it did. Our insider delivered in a big way. As for you, the baseline expectation around here is to surpass every expectation. So from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. I'm not in the business of discussing my personal views on team members to subordinates. Anything else? Negative. Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, he's still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. I'm back. Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Well. Are you fucking serious right now? Don't get him started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to DC. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. No, we were after a different spy in Khe Sanh. Huh. That's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. Yep. Later, Bell. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go!
Moving up. Do the honors, Bell. I'm moving. Like fucking clockwork. All teams fan out. Best to the main gate. Take your team right. Copy. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. Hell of a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Mark. Contact! What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Mark. Quiet all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Contact! What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. It's quiet all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Contact!
cover. Moving up. RPG on the mountain. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the new little device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Let's Whoa. move. Get you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. The movement! Avancemos!
27B. Adler, we're heading inside. Lazar, man the door. Got it, Parker. Bell canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! As are we get a shit ton of reinforcement circling in the room. The window! Go! Come on, me! The chopper got away! Fuck, Perseus! We got bigger problems! Fuck down! Don't wait for us! This is ground team. Turn you at visual. Roger that ground team. We have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. I'm ready for that drink now. Don't leave me, Parker. What happened to that horse piss you call beer? You'll be a proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. Skyhook. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! This is 
Necesito cobertura. Take cover. Shit. My legs! Contact in T I minus can't. ten. Nine. Reach. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on. A little further. Sims, get the gurney. Bell, I feel like I owe you. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? The memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam, one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack.
He ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another one. fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. line nearby was the best way back to the game. He wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Bell, turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents.
Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. your bow to take them out silently. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Your report says the bunker was down the left path, not the right. This isn't right. Can Bell still hear me? Bell, you 
you noticed a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed the ladder. You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. Bell, your report distinctly mentions the village as your destination. It doesn't mention a zip line. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA, two minutes. Coming from the window! Drive Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another focal seizure. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, 
You woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a PC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. Path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Park, give Bell another injection. 
That could be lethal. Do it, now! Bell's heart rate is already... Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around. What the lab? What the hell is Bell doing in the lab? Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume. survive another round. Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leading empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead, next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. 
They'd think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This, you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duga alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. You even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Adler's missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have a job to do. 
Bell. We've got Come a job. We've got a job. Come on. You've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bill. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us will cross the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air.
this way. We're on it, Adler. Adler, this is Hudson. Have you cleared the AA guns? We need to launch these bombers. We got one AA cleared. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Contact! They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. 
Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There is more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal.
So that concludes the game. Um, this was the good ending. There's also an alternative uh, bad ending where the nukes do blow, but you can probably check that on another channel. Uh, this game was great fun, and now see let's see what the multiplayer is like. See you next time.